Resisting is persisting, and that is why you are single. What I mean is, if you resist being single, you hate the solitude, you detest the isolation, the fact that you are alone is disgusting to you, then single you will remain. It will persist and it will continue forever until you love yourself. I know it sounds really cliche, but it's actually true. You can love yourself. How in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can they get an amen up in here? Yeah. Thank you, RuPaul. Because what I've found being single is that I really wanted a boyfriend, so I was throwing myself around and I was convinced that it was them. It was their problem. As if you can't like me, look what I've got to offer. When actually, it was all to do with me because I didn't like myself. And when you've got low self-esteem, your expectations and your standards in a potential partner go down. So you let a lot of crappy guys in. And when you let a lot of crappy guys get into your special area, your heart, then you're going to be left exposed and vulnerable and you'll get hurt more often. So what you need to do, don't throw yourself around. Don't go out and searching too much because when you search too much, you find very little. Be comfortable with who you are, love the skin that you're in and date yourself. Take yourself out to a movie. Finger yourself. Do something just for you because when you start expressing yourself truly and fully, that is when the right people will gravitate towards you. Because what happens when you throw yourself around at a lot of different people, you don't find Prince Charming, you find throat gonorrhea. And I've had that. Don't get tangled while I'm gone. Wow, this is going to be so hard to fucking edit. I'm so sorry, Brad. New edit point. Okay, one more. Brad, this is an edit point. 